All right, so this is gonna be all kinds of fun. So it's time for me to grab my azurias and I have to get them out of this enclosure in order to, um, oh hi, so that I can put the atelopis in here. I built these guys, The actually the video that I posted yesterday was for these guys. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably have to destroy this in order to, in order to get these frogs out. But that's definitely to be expected. So I figured I would tape it. So you guys can see what it's like. Oh, look, some eggs. Oh, some Azurius eggs. Can you see that? Oh my god. Oh, yay. Oh, I should have had the flash on. Oh, too late now. All right. All right, so we have, we have a bunch of them down in the bottom over there. So what I'm going to do, let's see how I'm going to kind of get them out. They like to live under that log. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt, but I think that it can be done. Hey, guys. Why don't we get out of here? Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh look at this beauty. Oh, you're in the wrong place, buddy. There you go. All right, there you go. Hang out there. Thank you. You're going to a better house now. All right, well, let's get some of these guys over here. There we go. Go on. Easy diving. There. Oh, well, that was easy. All right, next. Two down, two to go. Let's see, who else? Do we have anybody else? Oh, no, no, no. You get down. Heck no. Come on. You're going to a better place. Here. I'm kind of doing my hardest to not have to tear this apart. That would just be absolutely ideal to be able to just... There we go. We got number three, number three. Oh, <laughs> that was... This has never been so easy. All right, number four. Where? Oh, oh there you are. Oh my gosh, here, I'm going to zoom into this because look at this. Bam. <laughs> Escape artist, excuse me, get the heck down. Oh, I know you're ain't. Oh my god, ninjas, ninjas, ah, ninjas, ninjas. Oh my god, frogs are ninjas. Oh my gosh, freaking ninjas. All right, all right. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to hurry. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, I see you going under there. No, you don't. No, you don't. You're gonna come out with your, with your family. God damn it. Get back down there. Come on, little darling. Where did you go? Oh, <laughs> there you are. Hello, beautiful. Are you my lady? Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. I am missing a perfect, per uh, a perfect um, picture opportunity so that I could tape this for you guys. Just FYI. Look at this beautiful frog. Look at that weird ass nematode on my arm. Oops, sorry, language. Totally slipped. Oh, yeah. You're going to a new home, darling. All right. Oh my gosh, I wish I could take pictures. Look at this beauty. Okay, this is going to have to happen like right now because these frogs are not. <laughs> oh my gosh, where is the lid? Oh, I'm using it. All right, all right, we're going to go real quick and we're going to release them. We're going to release them. All right. All right. Maybe I can get some good video. Excuse me. Ah. <laughs> oh, my God. Get back down. All right. <laughs> here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Well, get the heck out of here. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. Look at these guys. They're so freaking ready for this. Okay. I'm just going to do this. We're going we're gonna to come up here. I'm gonna hold this with my knees. Look at this guy. Let's see if I can get a picture. Nice yeah, picture stuck with when I'm taking video. All right, but bam, there. there you go, guys. It's your new house. Look at you. Yeah. Aw. Such beautiful darlings. Oh, look, I'm going straight in there. 
All right. Come on, little baby. All right, bam. There goes number three. Yeah. Go on, sweetie pie. All right, you can see how handling is not like a thing you want to do at all. It's so stressful for them. Ooh. Wants to know nothing about my hand. All right, there you go. Straight in. Oh, yeah. There you go, guys. In your new house. How you like it? So what they pretty much do initially is just, they just go up, 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 and they just kind of climb up. Oh my god, is there literally a spider blocking this coconut hut? Ah, oh, not anymore. Oh, sorry guy, I totally just scared him. Don't worry, your life will be awesome in here. So we have one, two, three back there, where is number four? Oh, well, he's already in. Well, that was awesome. All right, you guys, that is how you transfer frogs. And this was a prime example of why... Oh, there's number four. Bam, right under there. Um, this is a prime example of why you don't handle frogs. Like, did you see how they were not about it at all? They're super fast. Like, they're, they're just the kind of animals that you just sit here and you watch. But notice how they don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just totally just sitting here. I've got bolt hair all over me. Um, and, oh, now they're just going to, this is the best time. This is the time where you want to kind of just sit here and just kind of watch them. Look, one, two, three, four, all out. This is, this is Dendrobates Tinctorious. This is it. Always out, super bold, just all about it. Their hearts are racing. Look at this guy. You can see his heart just going crazy. They're super stressed out right now. Super stressed out. That was not, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, he's even got little bold hairs. That's why you, you shouldn't climb out of the tub I put you in, silly. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, but what I was saying, um, handling, you can see how just that little bit, how long has this video been? Seven minutes. You can see how just that little bit totally stressed them out. Uh, can you imagine, like, handling them regularly or trying to anyway because let me tell you you wouldn't be exactly successful they'll just run from you and get stressed out i'm sure that that kind of behavior would decrease their their lifespan overall but anyway but otherwise you know this happens very infrequently when i received them many many months ago i put them in that enclosure and i haven't touched them or handled them since until i moved them in here and now they're going to be here without me bothering them or, you know, handling or whatever for, you know, forever or whatever. As long as they can exist without me having to remove them. Which is probably going to be months and months or if not years. Look, look at how they're moving. They're kind of like, all right, so we're moved and now they're going to start exploring. Frogs are so much fun. They just... They just kind of start exploring their new house. Um, they'll just kind of hop around, check out their new places. And yeah, that one back there. Oh, that one's going crazy. I got three males and a female, if anybody was wondering. I got three boys and a girl. The female Tinctorious are liable to fight with each other in the presence of males. And they'll, they'll bully each other and they'll even eat each other's eggs. How counterproductive is that? So that's why with Dendrobates Tinctorious, you want to have multiple males to one female. Or like one male to one female, two males to one female, etc, etc. I have three males to one female and they're breeding for me and everything is great. So, ooh, they're missing water cups. I should do that. All right, let's grab them. I'm just going to stick these that were in their enclosure already because looks like they did a fine job of getting them filthy all right looks like i didn't leave a whole lot of room for water cups but well this is gonna be fun all right i guess i can i can do this i can do this i'm gonna stick that coconut hut a little further and maybe move that plant forward and here we go Gonna stick that beta right there. It's kind of awkward, but it'll do. 
It'll do at least one water cup. We want that water cup for them to know that they can deposit tadpoles. You know, I could probably put the water cup behind the coconut hut. I bet you that would look better. All right, this video is way longer than I totally wanted it to be. But how fun is this? Look at all the frogs going crazy. There we go. Have you noticed the coconut hut has like a, I, this is actually a deli cup lid, but normally they use petri dishes. This is normal behavior. When <clears throat> I find that when dart frogs get put into a new enclosure, what they do is just go up, up, up. Remember how I said that in the beginning? Just, <laughs> look at this number three going up. Sillies. Oh my God, I could watch them all day. Anytime I put frogs into a new house, I just sit there and I watch. Pull up a chair and I watch them because they're awesome. <laughs> I mean, why else have them, right? Oh my god, look at how cute that is. Ah, they're so cute. What is this one doing? It's like sliding down, got moss all over him. It's probably gonna bother him. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> really? Is that necessary? Look at, look at this whole new house you have, and you're sliding on the grass. You silly, silly frog. Oh, hi, beautiful. Look at you. Oh, I wonder if this is my girl right here. Oop, totally is. Look at this stud. Or no, no, I guess she's a girl. Hmm. Look at this girl. Oh my gosh. She is so beautiful. So beautiful. Look at her. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got two boys down there. Ah, I love them. Oh, yay. I'm so happy they're here. This is such a great spot. This is, let me let me show you what a great spot this is for them. I'm going to close that. Check it out. So we have, bam, whole frog room, whole frog room. Oop, lights are starting to come off. Whole frog room. Bam, Azurius. Bam, front door. Bam, frogs. Heck yeah. All right, cool. Well, I really wanted to share this moment with you guys because, oh my God, it's awesome. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any uh, suggestions for videos, let me know. I'd like to hear them. And uh, happy frogging. Thanks for watching, guys.